Hello, One Bank fans. Eileen Silverberg and Gilbert, the manager at Brick on Wine Bank, and we have an amazing little video for you. You're going to learn so many cool things uh, about pairing beer with food. It's amazing. Food pairing. So I mean, good. who knew? I know how to pair my food with different kind of wines, with different champagnes, and it's a beautiful part of drinking your, your wine with your food, but to know a lot about beer and food pairing is amazing. I've been learning a lot of things and Gilbert is gonna go ahead and give us a little a little view on, on, on what he does after he leaves work. <laughs> Tell us, you've been cooking, you've been eating, you've been drinking, so yeah, what should we know? I've been studying this quite a bit. I was a bit reluctant at first, didn't want to. And I'm really glad I did. It's been a lot of fun. I'm so glad you did, too. <laughs> You're like, no, no, we're not going to do a video on that. Uh -uh. And uh -huh. I mean, pushed me, and I'm really happy she did. Yes, it's been yes, yes, yes. Super enjoyable. All right. So unlike wine, mm -hmm. beer doesn't have these very hard rules. You know, if you're eating this thing, you drink this wine. Right. If you're drinking this wine, you got to eat this. Beer is a lot more open than that. It's a lot more exploratory. But do you have rules? Yeah, yeah there's yeah. still three rules that we got to know. We're going to go into them. And some people at first think of it you know, as like an annoying thing or it's harder. It's a lot of fun. It's, there's nothing to be sad about. You have to drink beer and try food. It's uh, what how, more how could bad, you want. How bad, how bad can life be, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's three rules. It's uh, find similar flavors, find contrasting flavors, and match intensity. And we're going to take that. You do that with every dish, but we're going to explore each one of those rules with each dish separately. Okay, so in the, in the world we'll do it with mm. every dish, and today we'll right. for for sake of, of, yeah, of, the, of really time, time, yeah, and make it easy too, so you have an idea. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have here a flan. We're gonna eat all this food after. <laughs> so if you have, if you want to come and eat with us, yeah, we're stop here. By, try the we parents. have a couple of people waiting for this to be chowed <laughs> and finished and goodbye. So okay, so we have a flan. Yes, flan. And uh, remember, we we take live all the time, so we don't stop. Up, customers may call, come, and whatever, so you keep concentrating on us. Anyhow, <laughs> so we, we have our flan. Yeah, first sweet, is the flan. caramelized. Very caramelized. Uh, melted sugar is how you get that caramel on top of mm -hmm. it. And a very creamy, a little cheesy, a cream cheese, that people might say. Mm -hmm. And it pairs great with a milk stout. Now, the, both of these go through the Maillard reaction, which is you cook food at a certain temperature, and it's a, one of the best tasting chemical reactions in the world. So you roast that beer? Yes, here the, mm -hmm. in the stouts, mm -hmm. you roast the, the malt and it gives it a very roasty coffee-like flavor. Mm -hmm. And in this beer here, milk stouts, they add lactose sugar, make it milky. Mm -hmm. So it's nice and creamy, just like the flan. This is the example of matching flavors. They're both milky and creamy and smooth, goes and really well together. Is there a sweetness to it or is it just that cam caramelized? Mm -hmm. um, Flavor. Quality. There is a little bit of sweetness to okay, it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. we have nitro here. Mm -hmm. We sell, sell it at, at the, the store. store. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right. So when we have those two, we taste that it, it, it should enhance the the food or the food enhances the beer. Yes. It goes both ways. Okay. Great. <laughs> I like it. All right. So then we go into. And here we got some fried chicken. Mm, okay. With, a, with an IPA. IPA is super fun. It's probably, it's not probably, it is the most popular craft beer in the world. Um, it goes great with what I call finger food or hand food. Burgers, pizza, fried chicken, stuff with you with your hands. Mm. IPA is amazing. It's stellar. And it's the high bitterness. Here it's the contrasting flavors. So you have something fried? Yeah, salty and greasy. Okay, and then with the... The bitterness of the beer mm. really helps the the opposite of it really come through mm. like and it's also a palate beers are palate cleansers the carbonation cleans so when you really get that bitterness it's really fresh and clean so then when it meets up with the saltiness it's like a marriage it's really a good, good. marriage <laughs> an amazing marriage <laughs> okay yeah. and the ipa and the burger is an instant classic have you never done it and french fries and French fries. Oh, yeah. IPA and French fries are so good. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I should try it like that. That's my favorite food. Oh, yeah? That's mm. right. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get you to drink IPA soon, Eileen. Okay. Well, we're working on it. We're, we are going to do a video <laughs> when I finally master that. How's like, that? Oh, that's something. I like that a lot. Yes. I like yes. that idea a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then we have 
cheese, mm -hmm. and we have a specific cheese. You have an Asiago cheese. Asiago mm -hmm. cheese. And what are we having with it? We're oh. chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Belgian triple. Okay. So, um. So what kind of, what, what is that, what do we have here? So we have uh, similarities, contrast, and here. Is matching intensities. Mm -hmm. Now beer and cheese is a lot of fun. I do enjoy that quite a bit too. That, that kind of, that threw me off mm -hmm. that when you told me. Oh no man, does a better job than wine does. Really? Yeah, mm, fix its okay. butt. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheese is very creamy and it covers the mouth. I think it's kind of like, you know, very powerful food. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, beer is a palate cleanser. And Belgian styles beer specifically are a bit higher in carbonation and that helps clean your palate even more. Look at that. So okay. if you're eating cheese and you go to something else, you take your swigger beer, you're ready for the next bite of whatever else is you're eating. Or if you just want to enjoy more cheese, you just enjoy more cheese. So we can just start with that and then go into this yeah. and change beers mm -hmm. and things like that. That sounds great. A thousand great. percent. <laughs> Alrighty. So what's your favorite of all this? Oh uh, my gosh. If you have to Jesus. either contrast or, simi or similarities, contrast or enhancing flavors, right? Mm hmm Well, whenever you match something, you do all three rules for the one dish. Okay. Um, but for this thing here, oh man, these are all so good. Stouts are my favorite beer, so I'm okay. going to go with that. Okay. And I do, I'm, I'm half Cuban. I cannot what, pick a flan. I, I, I want some flan. I'm <laughs> fried chicken. I'll let you have the cheese. But anyhow, all of these beers we have here at Brickle Wine Bank, mm -hmm. 950 Brickle Bay Drive, Suite 110. Come see Gilbert. Talk to Gilbert. He'll be able, if you're making something else, you're cooking something else, he has a, an amazing uh, album of pictures of everything that he cooks and <laughs> pairs with. It's really cool. And if not, come come see our other uh, assistants here. They're great, they're knowledgeable, and we teach them the right things so they'll be able to get you through. So until next time, we're going to eat and drink and have a great job. Drink responsibly. Drink good beer. And cheers.